some of y'all favorite people ever. Y'all look so good. I like y'all. Hold on, let me go see if they're ready for y'all. Hold on. My athletes say that they're ready, but they don't think that y'all are ready. Are y'all ready? grabbing some food. I got this chicken. I honestly don't know what the wrap is, but I wish it was a little bit bigger because this looks like a quarter of a wrap and it's all fallen out. But I also got some salad going on. It'll do. The salad is very good. I just can't pull my finger on something that I don't like in here. So it's, it's one of these leaves are better. Mm -hmm. Something in there is like very grassy. Mm -hmm. This is a dense muffin. Right? Oh. Also got a protein muffin. Never tried a protein muffin before, so it feels like a brownie. It's it honestly feels brownie. like a brownie. Whoa, that's not a protein muffin. That's just a muffin. Mm -hmm. That's a good muffin. Did you check me out? Twenty-six grams of protein. It tastes so dense. That's really bad. Maybe I can Uber eat coffee. Do you think that's absurd? Yes, because how are they gonna how you can find them? Catch me at the meet and greet.
talk about something specifically, but if we gear a little bit off track, that's completely fine. I really want to answer your questions and know what you guys want to know and just talk it through with you. Yeah, okay, that's a good question actually. Um, I would tell myself not to care so much. It's not that serious at the end of the day. I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves. Guys, this light is not forever. You know, these people are not gonna last forever. So whoever is gonna be talking crap about you, whoever you think is going to be judging you, who cares? Just do you. No one's gonna remember something that you did that was embarrassing years after. I'm sure that you're so hyper-focused on yourself that no one else is really paying attention to the small things that you do or that make you insecure. So that's definitely something that I had to focus on getting through, going through this content creation because putting, your, putting yourself out there is so scary, but really just blocking out the noise and doing things, even if it's crazy, guys, if you saw my videos years ago, they would have been so cringe. And I'm sure a year from now, the videos I'm posting now, it's like, that's so cringe. Really, it's just you try to show your personality and be you. You don't gotta be anybody else except for you. And don't hide that. Don't be embarrassed of who you are. And that's something I had to really work on because I do be very much a shy and awkward person and that's something I had to get over. But just being able to be comfortable with you guys and show my personality, even if it's not everybody's cup of tea, that's, that's something I'm gonna keep doing. And I hope that can help a lot of you as well.
Ani na That's a good question. Yeah, so Pearson, I'm not gonna lie. It has eaten me alive way too much. And it's horrible. Like, I could have the best day of my life, have so much opportunity, have so much going for me, and then I scroll on social media, I see something I don't like, I'm like, great. There comes that, my day is ruined, and everything that I've worked so hard for is completely out the window. And over, I want to say this last year, I've actually been trying to get really, very much better at it, because it's tough. Social media is right there. And that's all it takes, is just to see one thing and for everything that you worked so hard to just be thrown under the dust. And that's, that's sad. I'm, what I do is really count my blessings and think of it in this way. When I get in that rut where I feel like I'm comparing myself too much, I think, imagine if I was 10 steps behind where I am right now and that everything I have right now and everything I've accomplished is taken away from me, imagine how I would feel. I would feel devastated. You don't appreciate something until it's gone. So you really gotta appreciate where you are right now. Just because someone might be accomplishing something right now or someone may look a certain way right now doesn't stop you from doing the exact same thing. No one was put on this earth to follow the same path at the same pace. Everyone has a different life, a different path, a different lifestyle. Just do you, focus on you, ignore the outside. You're gonna accomplish something maybe a year or 10 years from now. Doesn't matter how old you are, you can still accomplish it. Don't be discouraged, don't look at other people. Instead, embrace other people, be happy for them, and just enjoy the journey. Don't try to rush it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, I like that. Okay, I actually have something tattooed on me. It's a, it's a Bible verse. It says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. And I had that tattooed on me when I was going through a really rough period in my life. Um, I was at my lowest, and I felt like I, I was really taking a deep dive down. There was no getting up. But really, you gotta take it day by day and really think that these low moments, this too shall pass and you're gonna get over it. And then once you get over it, that builds you up for who you're going to become. Because now when I have those low moments, I really think to myself, I got through that. So I can get through this again and I can keep going forward. Every low, every challenge, every obstacle that you experience, it builds you for who you're going to become. It prepares you for the life and the next step that is waiting for you. So just take it day by day. Take those low moments with grace Use them as an opportunity to keep building yourself and keep growing. All right, so I just want to thank you so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have fun.